Hello, I'm Nancy Schmidt, Senior Vice President of Referral Relations and Network Development for the Spalding Rehabilitation Network, and I'm responsible for referral management and admissions. I'm sure the past few days and weeks have been difficult and challenging. You and your family have been through a lot and have already made so much progress. Now comes the next big step, your rehabilitation care. You probably have a lot of questions. You might even wonder what rehabilitation means. This is completely normal, and this is why we have created this video for you, so that you'll get a sense of what our facilities look like and better understand what to expect in this next phase of your recovery. In this video, you will also get answers to commonly asked questions like what you need to bring, who you will work with, and what your average day may look like. Over the years, I've had the privilege of working with hundreds of patients and families, and I've learned that it's natural to have many questions and concerns. I hope we begin to answer those for you today. Our entire Spalding team is honored to be here to help you at this critical time in you and your family's lives. Please do not hesitate to contact anyone on our team with any questions you may still have. Thank you. The Spalding Rehabilitation Network cares for patients in inpatient hospital settings and outpatient therapy locations. Spalding has 23 outpatient centers and six inpatient facilities across eastern Massachusetts from Cape Ann to Cape Cod. Each year we serve thousands of patients in both our outpatient centers and our inpatient rehabilitation facilities. Your care will begin at an inpatient facility. At each one of our inpatient facilities, we customize your rehabilitation to meet your individual needs. Our clinical teams meet regularly to design a rehabilitation program that will help you reach your maximum level of recovery. All of our care, from rehabilitation therapy to recreation to nutrition, is patient-centered. The goals for rehabilitation are to help you understand your particular diagnosis, to help you achieve your highest level of function possible, to help you get back to the activities that you enjoy, and enable you to adapt and succeed in your environment. Rehabilitation at its core is about helping you reach the best quality of life attainable. Our therapists and clinicians at Spalding use the most advanced techniques and the most cutting edge technologies available. They always strive to use these technologies in creative ways to enhance your rehabilitative care. If there's a new idea, method, or device that could strengthen your rehabilitation, you can trust that your Spalding team is implementing it. From simple adaptive technologies to complex robotics, your team works together, continually modifying and fine-tuning your therapies in order to achieve the optimum results for you. There are countless benefits uh, to the Locomat, and I think the principal one is the first time you see yourself up and walking, it just puts a smile on your face and a tear in your eye because you realize that there is hope, and that's extremely important. Suzanne Hebner is a clinical liaison for the Spalding Rehabilitation Network. She is one of the many liaisons on staff who meet with families and patients like you to answer questions and help you transition to your next level of care. When you get to Spalding, you are going to have good, caring rehab professionals that have expertise in this area. Oftentimes, the physicians can give a call over and have a discussion with the doctor that cared for you here at the acute care. Um, so it's a very nice back and forth. Um, we make sure we hand off as much information as possible to set you up in that transition. And then the first few days, the uh, post-acute care is going to take that time to get to know you. You have been referred to Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital Boston, one of the largest rehabilitation hospitals in the U.S. 
the official teaching hospital of Harvard Medical School. Spalding is the only rehabilitation hospital ranked in New England by U.S. News and World Report's Best Hospitals Survey each year since 1995. It is known for its clinical excellence, innovative therapies, connection with research, and proximity to other Boston hospitals. Spalding Boston is a center of research with over 100 ongoing studies in areas from stroke to brain injury to spinal cord injury. Spalding clinicians use information learned from research in their rehabilitation programs and therapies, which helps to ensure that patients achieve their highest level of function. Spalding Boston's location, where patients and the community can engage in activities from hand cycling, rock climbing, adaptive tennis, kayaking, and even windsurfing as part of their therapy. Spalding Boston offers inpatient rehabilitation or acute rehabilitation level of care. The acute rehabilitation level of care is for patients whose primary need is rehabilitation. This level of care includes on-site physicians who are able to see patients frequently, intensive therapy services, specialized rehabilitation nursing care, and clinical resources such as on-site pharmacy and radiology services. Within 24 hours of admission to your new facility, you will be evaluated by a number of rehabilitation professionals. After evaluations are completed, your team will work with you to determine your rehabilitation plan of care. Depending on your condition, therapy may include physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, or other therapies, which will be provided in one-to-one -one and or group sessions. In the beginning there, it's not just getting up and walking right away. Sometimes it is moving around in the bed. Um, sometimes it is just learning how to go from lying down to sitting up. Um, there's many nuances that we don't realize that are just kind of taken for granted while we're in the hospital and getting everything taken care of that we need to start translating into becoming more independent. As you and your family prepare for the next level of care, you probably have some questions, such as, what about parking? At Spalding Boston, there is on-site parking for a small fee, and the hospital is steps away from public transit. What do I need to bring? A rehabilitation hospital experience is very different from an acute hospital stay. You will participate in a variety of activities each day and should bring comfortable, loose-fitting clothes like sweatpants, sweatshirts, shorts, and t-shirts, as well as comfortable sneakers. You will need to bring any personal items or medical equipment that you require such as reading glasses, hearing aids, and custom devices. As part of the rehabilitation stay, we encourage you to bring pictures and personal items from home that will make you feel comfortable in your room. All of our facilities have free Wi-Fi for patients, families, and visitors. What about insurance? There may still be questions, and at that point, we have financial counselors at each of our sites that can either meet with the patients or their caregivers to make sure that um, all of those anxieties about um, payers and, and, and questions that come up can be answered for them. What will my room be like? All patient rooms at Spalding Boston are private, with spacious and fully accessible bathrooms. Each room has a television and a telephone. What about food? You'll have three nutritionally balanced meals delivered to you every day. Your menu will be tailored to meet your medical and dietary needs. What will you expect from me? Your job in rehab is to work as hard as you can. Take advantage of this time. Take advantage of having those rehab experts right there at your fingertips. Um, and make sure that you feel confident in the strength that we're going to build for you. What about my family? Your family is an important part of the team, and we encourage them to be present whenever they can help your healing. What happens when I leave my rehabilitation hospital or care facility? Your recovery does not stop when you leave Spalding. We will work with you to arrange ongoing care through home care or outpatient therapy upon your discharge. In other words, when you finish your course of rehabilitation at Spalding, we will still be there for you. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Savant, Senior Vice President of Medical Affairs at the Spalding Rehabilitation Network. We hope this video has been helpful to you as you prepare for your transition to one of our rehabilitation facilities. Our caregivers are some of the best in the world, and you can trust that we all share the same values and dedication to excellence. Helping you find your strength and reclaim your life is our number one priority. We are truly honored to serve you, and we look forward to partnering with you and your family. Thank you.